Mr. Fortenberry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for your testimony. Uh, since Chairman Gensler, you began with some basics, I'd like to start out with a basic question as well. Given that the fundamental purpose of the futures markets and swap markets are to mitigate risk, derivatives markets are to mitigate risk, given that the traditional number of hedgers to speculators is inverted, and given the explosion of the swap market, are these markets actually achieving the end result of decreasing volatility by mitigate ri mitigating risk? It is an excellent question that academics address themselves, and you have some on both sides of that debate. I think that we're not a price-setting agency at the CFTC. Our key goal and mission is to ensure that the prices in that market uh, reflect the forces of supply and demand. And though, as you rightly say, in some of the markets, 80, 85 percent of the markets are non-producers, non-farmers uh, and ranchers and merchants, they're financial companies. Sometimes they're swap dealers, sometimes they're pension funds, sometimes they're hedge funds, but a significant amount is non-producers and merchants. I think that adds to the reason why you want an effective CFTC to ensure that there's not fraud manipulation. Those markets competitively reflect the forces of supply and demand. Um, and I fear that is if we were to uh, not get additional resources, uh, it's harder to ensure for the integrity of these markets. Care to comment on this proposition uh, as well? Well, it's something that we've been looking at. Uh, the markets are changing. We've heard from producers uh, frequently that I don't feel that these markets fit me as well as they did in the past. And that's a, that's a real concern. When, when producers and, and, uh, and hedgers say that they don't feel comfortable in their own markets, which were created for them, that's troubling. And that that's bears, uh, bears uh, investigation. We're using the Technology Advisory Committee, which I'm the chairman of, to dig into that, to look at some of these trading, how the markets have evolved and what is driving uh, the change in the markets. They are electronic. They are moving at high speeds. And people are very concerned about the you know, the high sp speed of orders coming into the market and the decreasing size of the trades. And they don't feel it, that, uh, in, in many respects, hedgers are, are getting uh, a fair deal. We've heard that. We want to investigate it, and we're going to kind of get to the bottom of that, and we're going to use the Technology Advisory Committee to investigate that. Having said that, uh, one area of technology where I think we need to focus, which we are not doing today because of the shift from technology to personnel, is an, in the order data. I think that's an area where the high-frequency traders and automated traders uh, execute their strategies, and it's in the order data that is what we should be looking at, and that's useful to us to understand how this has changed the markets for uh, hedgers. And uh, the, the, the data we receive today is stale. It's transaction data. We can do a better job of understanding the, the impacts that uh, people are facing in the market today. Well, I encourage you, as you guide this technology committee, to stay tethered to the fundamental purpose that these markets exist. Uh, the reason is that they are supposed to decrease volatility by mitigating risk, not increase volatility by creating products that are spinoffs that are so complicated no one can understand, and they take advanced algorithms that where there's a time delay before it can be unpacked by the regulator or anybody else who has a legitimate use for hedging risk. I mean, I, I think we all have to continually remind ourselves that that's why we're doing this. I, I, I agree with you, Congressman, that the, the reason to have this agency and why it was set up or our predecessors were set up in the Department of Agriculture so long ago was to make sure that uh, a farmer can lock in the price of corn at harvest time, as you say, and then focus on their crop and in the modern day that a small business can lock in, whether it's an interest rate or currency, and say, good, now I can focus on what I do well and, right. and innovate in my economy. Well, I'll close with a quick, quick anecdotal story. In the midst of the financial crisis, I had our, one of our chamber groups out here with some bankers, and I asked them a question. I said, how many of you use synthetic collateralized debt obligations? <laughs> they didn't know what I was talking about. And I said, thank you, because, again, the basics of these markets center around three fundamentals. It's capital, time, and interest rates. That's it. It's, it, can, it should be basically that simple.
going back to the fundamentals. I agree. I, I grew up, my dad had a small business in Baltimore, and he never used collateralized debt, you know, et cetera. If I could summarize your two positions, though, right quick, Mr. Chairman, if you'll indulge me for a moment more. Given the explosion of the swap market, the derivatives markets, your job's made more complicated. You need more resources, particularly on the technology. Mr. O'Malley, you're, you're, you agree with that basic proposition, but you're urging the Commission to state the specifics more clearly and how those are going, the outcomes are going to be measured. Is that a fair summary? It is. I think so. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.